Welcome to Center of Maths Basic Series on Real Analysis. Today we're going to talk a little bit about partial differentiation. So, so uh, given a function, uh, we define its domain as u, its uh, co-domain is r, real numbers, u is uh, an open subset of e of n, which e of n is just r of n with the Euclidean metric. So two points x, y, the distance function between them is x1 minus x, uh, y1 squared plus x2 minus y2 squared, et cetera, xn minus x, yn squared, all that square of all that. So in R2, it's the usual, uh, or R3, the usual distance between two points. Uh, so we say f is differentiable at a point a. If we can find constants c1, c2, et cetera, cn, some many real numbers such that absolute value of f of x minus f of a plus c1 x1 minus a1 plus etc. cn xn minus an, uh, absolute value of that of the distance between x and a, u Euclidean distance. At uh, the limit of this, as x approaches a is equal to zero. So then we say f is differentiable at a. And note, uh, if we take our approach as x approaches a, say it's x has all the same coordinates of a except for one coordinate, uh, so the distance between d x a is just the absolute value of the distance between these two, and then c, c the c i might you might notice it's really just a partial derivative of f in that direction. So, So uh, we can prove f is differentiable at a if and only if we can find real value functions a1, a2, et cetera, a n, continuous at a, such that f of x minus f of a equals a1 uh, uh, times x1 minus a1 plus a2 times x1 minus a2, da da plus big A, and times x n minus little a, n. So uh, to prove this, to prove one direction, so we're assuming f is differentiable. Uh, first note, the distance between x and a is less than or equal to uh, absolute value of x1 minus a1 plus absolute value of x2 minus a2. This is triangle inequality. It's uh, simple C in R2, R3. Uh, it also extends to any dimension. Uh, we're going to find e of x equals f of x minus f of a plus f1 of uh, f1 prime of a times x1 minus a1 plus etc. over absolute value of x1 minus a1 plus absolute value of x2 minus a2, etc. Uh, so yeah, f1 prime, f2 prime, these are our state constants because we're assuming uh, f is in fact differentiable. Uh, so note first as x approaches a, because this is really, this is bigger than uh, d of x of a. Uh, and since we can factor this out, we can put d of, we can multiply by d of x of a over d of x of a, and we'll see this thing approaches zero as x approaches a. So e of x is, uh, continuous that it approaches zero as x approaches a. So if we define a i of x equals f i prime of a plus minus e of x, where plus if x i minus a i is greater than zero, minus otherwise. So this really represents the sign we're multiplying absolute value of x i minus a i by, uh, or yeah, what we're multiplying x i minus a i by to get the absolute value of it. So if we define it like this, Note that a i x is in fact continuous at a as a approaches uh, as x approaches a, a i approaches f prime i of a, and also note that uh, f of x minus f of a in fact satisfies this, which we can see if you just multiply by the denominator here, bring it to the left side, uh, and then add f of a, yeah, add all the f of i times x i minus a i, and you'll see. We got these terms on the left side, which we divide into our i's, and these are continuous functions at a. And so that's one direction. So to prove the other way, we assume we have some a i x such as f of x minus f of a equals f a i x sum of a i x x i minus a i. Uh, so f of x, we want to find uh, c, constant c such so that f of x minus f of a plus c x1 minus a1 plus etc. 
over dx a approaches zero as x approaches a. Uh, and so to do this, we're going to use for our seeds just ai uh, at a. And so by manipulating a little bit, uh, we break up f of x into our a, sum of ai x. Uh, the f of a cancels with f of a there. And so uh, we're left, so then we'll see that this is less than or equal to a1x minus a1a times x1 minus a1 over the xa for all i. And notice the xi minus ai over d xa is less than or equal to 1. So this is all less than or equal to uh, some of the absolute values of ai x minus ai at a. And since we assume the ai's are uh, continuous at a, so as x approaches a, these all approach 0, or we can say they all approach some, uh, they all approach a value uh, less than, they all become less than e over n, so we sum together, we get the uh, less than some arbitrary real number e, and so this thing will go to zero as x approaches a. So something we can quickly show, uh, if f is differentiable at a, it is continuous at a, and this quickly follows from our previous, this quickly follows from our previous theorem, since uh, we can write f of x equals f of a plus some uh, sum of continuous functions, so clearly uh, f of x is continuous at that point a, since all the functions will equal to f of x are continuous at that point a. And so that's an easy, easy proof of that. Thanks for watching. Please check us out on map.org, check our blog, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And thank you for watching our real analysis video series. If you like this series, please check out our other basic uh, series, our other basic series playlist. Thank you.